Hello everybody, this is Tim. I'm back for another video. This time it's on how to turn your iPhoto journal, those photo, photo journals that got introduced with iOS 5.1 and the new iPhoto app, and turn those URLs that you're able to share with your friends and family to a static URL that's easy to remember and easy to visit. So what happens, I'll show that through pictures as the air, di air display is, uh, the air play is blocked from iPhoto, it, it appears. It's just showing photos, not the actual interface. So through, through these photos, I'm going to just show you uh, just how to share that to iCloud. It's pretty simple. You just go into your photo journal and hit the share button and then select iCloud and then hit publish. You can choose to have it appear on your home page, which is a web page that Apple does give you. And you have the option to publish to iCloud, which of course you'll need to do. So you have to do that, and then once you hit publish and send those off, it's up and running. So that's the easy part. The hard part is how do you actually turn that photo journal into a URL that people can visit easily without having to copy and paste some long, complicated scheme in that no human being could remember. So here is Apple's description of iPhoto, and let me browse down, and here are the photo journals. And they're pretty cool. So photo journals, they allow you to create these kind of mosaic journal type things that integrate uh, maps and all sorts of things into it. They're very nifty and will hopefully replace the mobile me galleries. And if they're, they need, if they're going to do that, Apple needs to figure this out by themselves. But before that happens, I guess we have to do this this way of giving you a static URL to do this all. So the first step here is to simply visit your gallery. So I did that. It's at iCloud.com slash journal slash a bunch of other stuff. You can see this long URL scheme hopefully up here. This is your static URL for your journals. This is where you'll need to copy. And then after you do that, many may think that it, that you need to go to your cPanel and do all that, that kind of stuff. Uh, that's not the case. So. Uh, the steps I'm showing you here require a couple of prerequisites. First off, that you own your domain name you want to have this linked to. So for me, I'm going to timchatton.net slash photos is my end destination for this. For you, maybe something else. But basically, the way we're going to do this is uh, through you owning a domain name and paying for hosting of some kind. Uh, that may not even be the case, though, because uh, this would also work if you simply own a domain name and you just want to do redirect. So if you you know uh, do that, that would work as well. So that's going to be kind of what's happening here. Uh, to begin, you're going to first want to go to Bitly and do this. So you're going to want to go to bitly.com or some shortening service. I discovered through playing around with it that if you simply enter that really, really long URL my my hosting provider doesn't know what to do with it. It gives me a bad link at the end that is unusable, and that is something we don't want. I'll demonstrate what that unusable link looks like by copying this here and adding a redirect. Now I'm going to redirect to that really long domain and t show you what that actually looks like. So let's go to timchat.net slash test. And let's enter that really long domain name. It checks off that that's a good domain, redirects with or without. Let's hit add. Let's see what happens now when I go to timchatton.net slash test. As you can see here, iCloud couldn't find that page. So most hosting providers I would imagine would have the same problem. And I'd imagine if you just go directly to your a website hosting name provider, say a GoDaddy where you buy the domain name from, I believe this would happen as well. So that is why this, fir this first step going to bit.ly.com is needed. So let's shorten this. We have this shortened. Let's copy that. So that is now copied. Now let's go back and create a new one. And let's create one at timchatton.net slash test2. So test2 and hit that good domain let's add that so we are now creating from this a short link which remains intact indefinitely hopefully <laughs> and uh, this is how we will do this so let's go to timchatton.net slash test 
two. So slash test two, let's open it up and bang, we are here. We are at the journals and a mission accomplished. So this would happen with any of your journals uh, and you're able to link to these journals as well the same manner. But basically the tip here is create a shortened link and then do the redirect. This simply will not work if you don't do the redirect, if you don't do the bit.ly or some other service first. So I hope this has been helpful. It was really frustrating for me that Apple didn't think of a way to just do journal slash my username. Instead, they have bit this big, complicated, long thing here. I hope when iCloud is finished by July that we will get a more usable uh, name here of iCloud.com slash journal slash username. That is what it should be, and it's sad that they didn't do this. So until then, this is the solution. I hope this has helped you. Please visit iWakePodcast.com for my daily Apple News Show. And with that, I will talk to you guys and everybody else uh, real soon. Have a have a great day. Aloha. Bye.